Hello and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I am your host and guide, Zolan Iron Shield. And today we're going to do a very quick, rapid fire video on the my my the worst to the best questing regions, okay? In Lord of the Rings Online, off the top of my head. Alright, that's the thing of this video. In the future, if you do like this, don't forget to like and subscribe if I do earn it. If you do enjoy this video, um, I will do a more in-depth one where I will bring up a top tier list and I'll actually put them in categories for you, okay? I'll do a more in-depth, detailed one that'll be a long time. But this is gonna be a real quick one. I'm only gonna take like 10 minutes and we're gonna rapid fire off, all right? All my areas using the map. We're not even gonna go to the areas. We're just gonna rapid fire them off, okay? So again, the premising of this question, so we don't get confused, is not my favorite beautiful locations, right? Like we did in my other quick video about my five top five favorite locations, which was questing and beautiful. This is just for questing, okay? So I'm gonna just do it off the top of my head, okay? So immediately I'm gonna eliminate some areas, okay, that I don't like, because we're gonna go from worst to best in my mind. I would love to hear your comments on, you know, which ones are your favorites. Maybe you have totally different experiences than me in the game, okay? So, some of my least favorite places to quest is probably gotta be in Mordor. All right, I did. I I don't really like questing in Mordor. It might be because the scenery is just so bleak, and there's monsters and orcs everywhere, and all that kind of stuff. But I'm not a real big fan of questing in Mordor. So that's a lot of these regions right off the bat. Bye. All right. Again, the story plot was awesome. It's very fun still, but it's out of there. All right. Again, this is rapid fire. I'm not going to go into detail. I'll have other videos that'll go into detail. All right. You can look on the channel later. Um. So next ones. Um. Rohan. I like certain areas of Rohan and some areas I don't like of Rohan. Okay, so let's go through Rohan real quick. Rapid fire. Um, Helm's Deep's got some cool story quests, right? Um, so does Edoras. But I enjoyed questing in some of these towns more than I did in the big cities um, from what I have from my experience on things. Eastfold was okay. Um, I think I liked this one less. The East Rohan. I enjoyed West Rohan more than I enjoyed East Rohan. Okay, so East Rohan, eh, sorry, you're kind of out of there for me personally. Um, again, I'm not saying it's bad, so don't freak out in the comments. I'm not saying these places are bad. Again, I haven't questioned, I quested most of them actually, but I've not quested every single quest. Um, but I, yeah, it, gorgeous location, but questing, eh, not so much. Um, the uh, South Mirkwood, eh, I didn't really like questing a South Mirkwood. That's kind of out, all right? So that one's kind of out of there. Um, the next one, uh, if I jumped over to, um, I'm going to jump, I'm jumping around, I know, but I'm going to have to jump around. Lothlorien, not a huge fan of questing in Lothlorien, it's just a lot of talking and walking around. Um, beautiful place, some great stories, don't really like questing in general. Again, premising that the questing I'm talking about is efficiently questing quickly that doesn't take hours. Role-playing questing... From that perspective, Lothlorien's fine, okay? So again, this whole video right now, this rapid fire, is me saying things that I don't, um, that I'm trying to level kind of quickly, right? I don't want to be spending two hours leveling. I want to just get the quest done as quick as I can, right? That's kind of what I'm, that's kind of my premise of questing. Again, you have to break these things down. Otherwise, you guys are going to be like, oh, but I thought the stories were good there. It's like, yes, they were. They were good there for quests, okay? This is, this is how fast to quest efficiently. Um, the Vales of Anduin, it does lead you nicely through the questing areas, right? Like, to quest place to place, but, meh. Again, I'm trying to do them in order. Not my favorite, okay? Again, I am going to pop up all the things here. You do get led little by little, which is nice, but not my absolute favorite so far. Um, if we go over to, um, north here, Dale Lands, Northern Mirkwood... I enjoyed questing in Lake Town, Dale, and Erebor was okay. Um, I did not really enjoy questing over here in Northern Mirkwood with the elves. It just felt like a lot of running around through trees and getting lost and bleh. So not very happy about this side. Okay about this side, all right? Um, Iron Hills, eh. There's some good stories, and it does lead you to a couple spots. It's a lot of running because it's a big open area. So it was a lot of running, uh, so not super huge there on that. Um, now, we top, pop up to... Um, I'm going to save the Grey Mountains because I actually enjoyed some of them. So, I'm trying to do an order here. Now, let's pop over and look in Ered... Uh, Yondershire, I have not quested there very much yet. So, I can't really fairly put that into this this list yet at this time for this video. So, we'll, future, future video. Evan Dim. 
Now, uh, beautiful, one of my favorite locations visually, as you could see in my other video. Questing wise, eh, not, 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 not the most enjoyable questing area. Um, forage shell, actually, now that we're getting up towards the middle of the regions, right there, so we have a lot, a lot of regions. I'm gonna doing this very briefly, as you know. It was okay. It's middle ground with questing. Same as Angmar, middle ground for me. Like some of the areas are easy, some of the areas lots of work, right? With Angmar. Um, let's see, North Downs, I actually enjoy the questing North Downs. I feel like it's a pretty darn streamlined. You choose where you want to quest. You quest over here with this person or this person, right? Then you go over here. You quest at these two locations or this location. That's it. And then Trestle Bridge, right? So very streamlined. I like North Downs. We're getting up to things I like more now. Trollshaws, not as much. So I should have probably flipped those two. Trollshaws, not is my favorite. Not terrible, but not my favorite. Um, Rivendell, again, great storylines. You come here a lot for things. I actually don't really like questing with the generic quests in Rivendell. I feel like there's a lot of work for not much reward, but um, the stories are fantastic, of course, in Rivendell. Misty Mountains, surprisingly, uh, parts of it are annoying, parts of it are great. So parts of it are very easy. Glowin's camp, very easy to move in, and he sends you to the next place, that kind of stuff. Some of this other stuff that's like a lot of like group quests down in the giant halls down there, lot lot more work. So yeah, it just depends really there on that one. But it's more in the middle there for me. Um, the Lone Lands, again, kind of in the middle, very easy to follow along. You just do a lot of stuff at the Forsaken Inn, you do a sense bunch of stuff, then you go to Oskaruth, and you do a bunch of stuff over here. But there's a little camp over here in Harlow, I can't even say that. Hard, long, long, um, and you do a bunch of stuff for him, and then you can go up into these swamps and do some stuff at a little higher level. So it's fine. It's mid ground. It's got, and it's the chapters are very easy to follow too. Just make sure you do the chapters while you do the quest here. Okay. Little side note for you guys. Um, okay, I'm trying to rapid fire this as fast as I can. That's why I'm talking really quickly. So, sorry if it's a little too fast. Um, my next area, uh, the Edenwaith. Yeah, that's somewhere in the middle too here. Not really a massive fan of the questing here. It was beautiful place. It's cool, but questing was like, eh. All right. Uh, Dunland, same thing. Isengard, really didn't like the questing in Isengard. It should have been at the beginning. I, I did not enjoy it very much, personally. Again, beautiful place. Don't misunderstand me that I'm saying I didn't like the location. It's cool to see Isengard. The story plots were awesome. The generic questing, like help this person, help that person, when you're like locked in during the chapter, when you're in the mines doing stuff, it's cool one time. <laughs> then you're doing it again, you're like, okay, I know this story. I don't want to just keep doing these over and over. Okay, that's the kind of thing I'm trying to say. Um, Galtrev, right? That's, questing was fine in this area. Gapper Ohan was a little iffy. I didn't really like that super much, personally. Um, and then we, let's see what else we, let's go down to Gondor. Um, Western Gondor, the questing was fine up here. I liked it a lot. When I got the central Gondor, it felt a lot slower. This area was okay. This area got more and more confusing where you really got to go and keep going in the middle areas over here. Um, then I didn't really enjoy it quite as much. Eastern Gondor actually surprisingly kind of streamlined again, so it wasn't as terrible. Um, uh, South Athelion was fine. There's, it's hard because there's a lot of up and down. So it's a lot of hard to find locations sometimes where you're not really paying attention to where the roads are. You fall down a little, you know, crack into the river and you're like, oh, well, great. Now what do I do? Um, so there's some challenges there with uh, geography getting around, but this area is fine. Minas Tirith questing. It's like story questing. Again, not my absolute favorite kind of questing. It's great for role playing. It's great for one time learning the stories. But um, once you do it once, it's not really great for like leveling quickly like we're talking about. Okay. Um, and then we go up to this area. This area actually was fine. It kind of led you through, but again, not my absolute favorite. Again, I really did enjoy, I do enjoy some of the earlier game and end game more right now at level 140. At least that's where the game is right now. We're right before the expansion of the night. I don't want to, too many labels because this will be relevant for the future, but the little mini sh shadow before the shadow expansion hasn't come out yet. It's in a week. So that's kind of where we are with this video. Again, this video should be completely relevant still for several years. So for the, of the game, uh, North Athelion, uh, this area is fine. It's a little bit frustrating, but fine. And then you get into Mordor, which you already talked about. All right. So, and then let's pop over to, again, we covered most of Rohan, the river region, uh, Wildermyth was actually surprisingly very easy. You just go through the cities kind of with the story. So I like that. That was fine. 
um, up at the river area, the Wold, um, the Great River. Great River was actually, I remember, kind of fine. It, it led you through very quickly and showed you where to go in each city. You kind of did the stuff there at the city. Perfect. All right, so now let's get in the start of the stuff that I really enjoy questing. The areas I really enjoy. So back to Eric uh, over here. Again, Lunelands was kind of in the middle. Breland, I actually thoroughly enjoy the main questing when you follow the storyline. Right, and then the quests in Breland themselves, eh, in Breetown. But really, all you have to do is follow the quests, right? You kind of do you could, the Buckland, then Old Forest, then you do some stuff. Um, you could do Oslo's camp while you're doing stuff for Gandalf and Aragorn, and then it'll lead you up to the North Downs or to the Lone Lands, as you know if you follow my stuff. So again, I like the questing in Breland. I feel like it's more up there for me. One of my favorite questing locations. I should have talked about the Shire at the beginning. It's one of my least favorite questing areas. I don't know why I didn't bring this up at the beginning, but again, beautiful place. Love the Shire. Some of the quests are really fun if you're role playing or you're trying to, you know, you're being a hobbit or whatever. But uh, for just questing quickly, not that great. It's a, it's a lot more work. Um, and again, some of these areas, so you don't freak out, right? If you're watching this, you're like, what? Is nothing good in questing? Some areas, the chapter quests go through the area. So it makes it easier so for example remember i said i wasn't really a huge fan of troll shaws well i'm gonna revert something a little bit the troll shaws is very easy at the beginning it takes you here 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 that's very nice right you get through real quickly there it's these lower northern area and southern area that i'm not too fond of i have not quested a lot in the angle yet this is a newer area that was added after i've been questing here um but it's actually that I will put the, the troll shots back up on my thing a little bit here because it's not very hard to do the regular questing. You kind of just go through these main cities along the road and you do the chapter well and then you get to Rivendell and you talk to Elrond, okay? So I take that back just a little bit with the troll shots that I previously said. Um, so still good. Entomores, that's not a questing for leveling. This is for PvP, so don't worry about that. Or PvMP as we call it in Lord of the Rings Online. Um, and then uh, I, I already said I love the North Downs. Ered Lewin, really love Ered Lewin. It's probably one of my favorite questing areas. Again, this is between levels one and like 15-ish, right? It's about the level area that you get here. You could probably get up almost to 20 if you did every quest, but that would probably be inefficient to do every quest here. You probably wanna move on with the chapters. But the intro just leads you straight through, especially the dwarf version. You go through these valleys, you follow, go to no Noglond, Gondamin, and then, do, and then his camp over here, uh, Thrashy's Lodge. I, I really like it. Now again, I've done it over and over, so I'm very practiced at it. You might not have done it, so that might not be one of your favorite places, but I personally think it's one of the best questing places early um, out of the multi-questing areas. Now again, this is before the pre-launch of the two new regions that are gonna be placed right here below the Shire and Breland, okay? Um, which are gonna be uh, uh, Cardalon and uh, Swanfleet, right? The two new regions. The, we will have to add those on in a, in a future video. If I do a more in-detailed video, remember how I said at the beginning of this, I'll do a detailed video for you in the future um, if you guys want that. So you gotta like the video and you gotta leave a comment for me. So I know that you guys want me to do that, <laughs> to do a like tiered list of every region. And I'll go into a little more, more detail. Um, and we won't make it a super long video, but I'll have a tier list up on the screen and I can drag drag and drop the names into the tier list so you can have it, you know, screenshot it or whatever. Um, so anyway, we've covered, I think, I think rapid fire wise, we just covered most of the map. Like, I think we covered most of it. Say I talked about Gondor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if far Anorian, I didn't talk about this area. Anorian, old Anorian is the Minas Tirith. Far Anorian was a newer area. This was fine. This was a lot of chapters and you kind of just follow the road here. and go through and do quests along here. Um, a little monotonous running through the tunnel, like cavernous valley areas. But besides that, not not terrible. It was kind of mid ground, right? And again, when I say mid ground, that means not terrible. It was fine, right? The ones that are like, yeah, that for me personally, that were like kind of painful a little bit are like the Shire. Sorry, I know. Um, the Evendim has a little bit rough early. And then Edowaith was, eh, Dunland was really, I didn't like Dunland, even though it is, it is rather streamlined with some of the cities here, it, but like you just go to the next city, go to the next city, go to the next city. So I wouldn't say it's utterly terrible. I just personally didn't enjoy it. The most I enjoyed was like the Falcon clan when you're helping them up here in the north, this north spot up here, when you're doing this one, I enjoyed that story plot a lot. So that was one that was fine for me. I liked that a lot. Um, again, I could go into so much detail, you guys, because I've been, you know, 
the game's 15 years old and I've been playing it for 15 years, so there's a lot in here that I can go into, but I don't want to make this video absurdly long. I want it to be a rapid fire. So that was kind of just an off the cuff. I may change some of this in the future with a more detailed video where I do really in detail talk, right? And I, I really like lower it down. Oh, big one that we have to add on real quick, Arid Mithrin, right? And Gundabad, the newest expansions. Arid Mithrin, uh, it was actually a big thumbs up for me. It's a little bit of walking, but you basically just help them in this place, and then you move up and you help them in Scarhold. You do a bunch of quests in here. Some of the quests are a little monotonous in Scarhold. Again, the city quests sometimes are just a lot of story quests and walking around talking to people, which isn't terrible for lore. I love that for lore because I'm a big lore fan, but I don't always like it. I'm trying to quest quickly because I'm like, oh, I can run that guy. Gotta run the guy. guy. Gotta run to that guy, right? Like, you know, I gotta run to that person. Gotta run to that bird, that animal. <laughs> you open Radagast, right? Um, Anyway, that's not here, but just a side joke. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's really, some of it's uh, really, really cool. And then we go to the Elder Slade, uh, 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 Laid here, or Slade, excuse me, Slade, Elder Slade. Uh, this is Gundabad. The out part, outside part here, out, out front of Gundabad, it's fine. There's multiple dimensions, because one's like a questing dimension for the battle. One's pre-battle, one's I think, there might be an after battle, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but inside Gundabad, when you go inside Gundabad, well, I, I can go inside Gundabad. Okay, there we go. All right, Gundabad. Um, I actually thoroughly enjoyed Gundabad. If you watch my adventure playlist, we've done a lot of this area, and we've gone through all of the mines up here, and now we're in this area doing this stuff. It's very streamlined, very convenient. Do this city, help the people here. Do that city, help the people here, especially with the chapter and the stuff. I like that when certain areas does that. So if you heard me make a comment, you're like, well, doesn't that happen over here in Gondor? I just skimmed over it, okay? Just so you know. All right, just just give me a give me a break there, my friends. All right. Anyway, hopefully that was a good rapid fire. I know it's still 17 minutes, but um, that's about as fast as I could do all the regions. I mean, again, there's like 70 of them. Uh, I skimmed over a lot of them, but that's kind of like the gist off the top of my head. Again, why the title is going to be something like off the top of my head favorite questing worst to favorite questing areas okay i'll have a more in detailed tier list one in the future if you like the video and subscribe and leave a comment that you want that haha <laughs> really will help me out you guys have a great day in middle earth thanks so much thanks to my patreon subscribe buttons there if i earned it next episode's up there for my guides or stuff like this and over there's lush for telling me content with voiceovers have a great day stay happy my friends i'll see you all in the next episodes of voice of the rigs see ya baruch hazard kuzad i menu.